Rodney is a first-time caller out of uh, Los Angeles, California. Rodney, thanks for calling and thanks for holding you on the air. Hey, how's it going, Jesse? All is well, Rodney. How you doing? What's up, big brother? Hey, man, hey, I've been listening to you for about four months. I'm a, I'm a truck driver. And, uh, man, you know what, man? You're speaking the gospel, man. Well, I appreciate that, Rodney. Thank you. I'm going to just let you know that straight up, man. That's, that's you know, when it comes down to women, uh, I've only dated uh, blacks, whites, and Hispanic women. I'm 34, and uh, I've noticed differences in all three, and I believe it comes down to a heart situation. You deal with a lot of you deal with a lot of women, and I notice they have corrupt hearts, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's just unfortunate for this generation because I got I was raising two stepsons. I got with a woman who had two sons that were not mine. I took them on as mine. Uh, she didn't appreciate none of it. She was on government assistance, <laughs> and you know. At the end of the day, at the end of it, I ended up homeless. I ended up on the streets. I ended up still working every day. And I ended up with my own apartment, and I am moved on. Right on. How do you, I why did got you my end? son. I'm going to court now to get custody of my, my uh, biological son, which I only have one child. Uh-huh. And I'm going to raise my son as a man. I'm going to raise my own son because he's my responsibility. That's right. And I'm a black man. Rodney, how, yeah, why I'm a black you, man. I'm a. I'm, I was. I was. Listen, just a little more about my past. Yeah. I was. I was. Uh, I came from the south. I was. Uh, I was raised in Watts. I gang banged. I smoked weed. I hung out. I did everything that was stereotypical, man. You know, I changed my life around once I once I started letting hate go. I started forgiving my father for not being there. I ended up getting a relationship with him. And and I ended up, even though it didn't last for no more than about three or four years, once I got into my, I got, I, once I turned about 28, me and my dad had a relationship. Uh, I instantly started to figure out other things in life once I started getting a relationship with him. Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden, it started showing me other things with this marriage that I was in with this woman, man. It's like, she's a young black woman, hasn't worked in 15 years or more. On government assistance, got two kids. I'm taking on the two kids. I'm working. We've been together for my son's now is eight, so I've, we've been together for about six years. I've been trying to get her, get us. I was trying to get get us off of you know off of the shit, but she <laughs> constantly on. had a bad spending problem, bro. Hold on, Rodney. Hold on for me. You can't curse though, but hold on. Back in a moment. Amazing story. Back in a moment. So Rodney made a very, very, very important point. He said that he was a game member doing all those crazy things until he started to forgive. He started to overcome that anger. He returned to his father. And by returning to his father, other things started to open up for him. And he is so right, folks. When you forgive your father and your mother and return to your father, you're returning to God. You're returning to Christ and you start to wake up and you see life in in a clearer way. You see reality instead of that illusion that you see when you're angry. It's such a powerful point. I didn't want it to go by, go past. Rodney. Hey, Rodney. Yes. Hello, Jesse. Yeah. So you live in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Do you know that we're located in Los Angeles? Yep. I know that, man. That's why I fell in love with the channel. Okay, we're at La Cienica and Pico. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yep. Rodney, bless you, man. For, you are on hey, your thanks, way man. now. That is an amazing yeah, story. You, you know? Yeah, it's, you know, man, the thing is with, with a lot of young guys, you know, uh, they get into relationships when they're, and I call it, you're a young male. You're an adult male. You're not a man yet. Yes. And you're making these decisions, man. You know what I mean? And, yeah. you know, I grew up kind of like in an environment where, my mom and dad separated, of course, and that's how come he wasn't around. But yeah, uh, here it is. When I got to California, all my family worked. I had nice jobs and everything. And then I chose just on my own out of rebellion and not being guided and just craziness, you know. And I chose 
weigh out women. It's, you know, the, the women that was around my environment, their mentalities. When yeah. I say weigh out, yeah. they they look normal, but their their hearts and their mentalities. If you really knew them, they would jack the average person up, man. Yes. You know, because these women are corrupt. They're just takers, man. They just want, you know, and the guys that impregnate these women and just, they're just as bad who just don't take care of their responsibilities. And, right. I mean, it's not that they're bad people. They probably just, they lost, man. They don't have, it's not there. It ain't there. And you can't fix certain things. It's only God who can fix it. That's I know that. Right. That's right. Yeah. Wow. So I try fixing, you know, for these guys getting out here who feel like it's, uh, you know, it's enticing to get with a woman with children who's on governmental assistance and you're going to take over all that and fix all this stuff. Dude, it's not going to happen. You can't fix stupid. That's right. <laughs> and we, you know? I, and, you know, I tell men now, and I had to learn the hard way too, you should never, ever, 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 but never get involved with a woman who already has children uh, and women should not get involved with men who already have children. First of all, the kids don't like it. They never accept a so-called step-parent. And uh, the, when you get involved right. with a man or a woman who have already been involved like that, it's like buying a used car. You just buy, you yeah. just, <laughs> you're just taking on someone else's troubles. And you know what else, man? Um, I wanted to add this too, man, that I think it's, a lot of to do with cultural too, because I noticed with my experience, it was always about buying my kids Air Jordan. It was never just taking care of the kids, and right. it was all about my kids want Air Jordans, Nike jumpsuits, uh, Gap outfits. We going. It's it's like and no and it never crosses your mind to just like let's get off you know let's get off of this shit. Let's get you know let's start taking our own you know take care of your own. There, a lot of these females' minds are not like that, man. They yeah. think a man is supposed to come in and just do everything. That's because they have been brainwashed by their mothers and grandmothers, and they have not had good fathers there to guide them and be that example for them. And that has to you change. Know? How did you find us, Rodney? How did I fight? How did you find us? How did you find the show? You know what, man? I was just thumbing through YouTube one day. I was uh, real upset, man. I, I was arguing with my uh, with my my ex wife, and uh, I just came across it, man. Amazing. Well, yeah, I, I wasn't looking for this TV, looking for nobody's opinions or nothing. Or, right. I just was thumbing through thumbing through things, and then I just turned it on, and it just popped up, and I was listening, and I was like, wow. Like, I didn't think no one ever thought like me, man. I thought, like, I was the only, like, guy who felt something was wrong with stuff. Yes. Even with Trump, man. Trump's a good guy, man. Yes. And I, I'm a black gang, man, gang ex-gang member selling, <laughs> selling you guys this shit, man. He is a good guy, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? They give that guy so much hell in the media, fake news, bullshit. Let him do his job. Yeah. Let him do his job, man. That's, That's right. it. Just let him do his job. And as far as the... You know, like you say about no racism, it's true. It it never exists. It's just good and evil, man. That's if, right. It's an evil act. It's an evil act, man. It don't matter what color the person is. Yep. You're right. Straight up. You know, uh, and uh, that's so simple. Uh, I I feel a caveman could figure it out. <laughs> You're absolutely right, man. Call me again, and whenever you can, come by and check us out. We We have church on Sunday mornings. We have men's meetings. Men's meetings the first Thursday night of every month at 7 I'm definitely going to need to go to, I'm definitely going to need to go, Jesse. I need to help, man. Okay. Because well, I'm still kind of like, I, I've got over all this stuff. I got my stuff together, but it's good to have, be around people who understand and kind of see the same things you see. You that's know what I'm right. Saying? That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. You got to drop the anger. That's all it takes. Forgive your mother's. Return to your fathers, and life will open up. Because the man represent Christ on earth. When you love the son, then you can love the father. Uh, human fathers are sons of God. Even the weak, bad ones are sons of God. You don't have to accept all the bad things they've done, but forgive them. Excuse me. Forgive them. Don't be angry. Then you can return to the father. It's so amazing. 
men and women return to your earthly fathers, so through him you can return to God. That's what it means to be born again. You got to overcome mama and return to father. Uh, in the scriptures, it said that will come a time when I will return the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children. That's how you get born again. Born again. <laughs> 